Welcome back to Luke's Daily Movie Reviews. This is, this review is, this is Season 2, Episode 61. This is Hannibal, starring Anthony Hopkins and Julianne Moore. I just finished watching this movie on DVD and my laptop starting up and all that. Hannibal is the sequel to the Silence of the Lambs movie that won Best Picture. Uh, that movie starred Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. And this one, we have Anthony Hopkins and Julianne Moore takes on the takes over the role of Clarice Starling that Jodie Foster played in the first movie. And the first movie, although good, I think I prefer this Hannibal, this Hannibal movie to the other two movies that, uh, including Red Dragon, uh, I prefer this movie of the three. I believe this movie is directed by Ridley Scott. Uh, I think it, this is, movie is directed by Ridley Scott, the director of Hannibal. Uh, my laptop is starting up, so working on updates 100% complete. 100%? The updates are 100% complete almost, but it's circling around a big circle. So, uh, I need to be able to show the information. I was all ready to go with this review, and then my laptop started acting up. You know, this laptop's a piece of shit. It really is. Uh, well, the story of Hannibal is that you could say Hannibal is living in exile in Florence, but nobody knows who he is, so he's living a private life as with an alias and all that. When a local cop begins to, to suspect who he is and tries to bring him in for the reward, and that doesn't work out oh, too well for him. And then Hannibal is captured. To go well, he goes to see Clarice Starling, and then he gets captured by Mason Verger, a victim of his. And a victim of his. And then. Clarice comes for him, and then Mason Verger goes away, he dies, and it's hard to describe. And then there's the scene, the, the dinner scene, Hannibal Lecter, Hannibal Lecter's idea of, uh, there was the, there was the brain scene with Lorraine Leota. Ooh. And then Hannibal Lect Lecter's escape when Clarice handcuffs him to her and he has to leave so he chops off his own hand. That's Lecter's motivations. What are his motivations? Why does... What's different about Clarice Starling? I don't know. We don't know. But he chooses to cut off his own hand instead of hers. That's a very interesting thing there. Who, what, you know, who is Clary? What's so special about Clary Starling that she's sort of off limits to him? Like, he won't touch her. It, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this laptop. Now it says it's cleaning up. So, I don't know what's going on with this laptop. 
I tried to turn it on, it won't turn on. Uh, but this review is already being filmed, and this I I was gonna use this laptop for the review, and it's being a piece of shit. Like this thing should have turned on already. I don't know what it's doing. What do you mean cleaning up? Oh, here it stars Anthony Hopkins, Julianne Moore, and other people, which I was going to list on IMDb when I looked it up on IMDb, but I can't do that now because the computer's not working. Like, I was going to try to start using this, this computer for lots of things, but it doesn't seem to want to be good. And I, am I going to be getting upset all the time now in my videos because I'm relying on this thing that doesn't work? What is clean, cleaning up? What does that mean? Well, Anthony Hopkins, Julianne Moore, uh, Ray Liotta. Giancarlo Giannini as the cop in Florence. Gary Oldman as Mason Verger. Uh, I believe this movie is directed by Ridley Scott. And the cleanup is 100% complete. Now, now this thing is... So apparently cleaning up. Apparently the cleaning up is done. And now it says it's done, but it's still circling. Uh, yeah. So I I actually sort of do like this movie. Uh, the the. The brain scene, I mean, it was something you'd ex expect from somebody like Hannibal Lecter. Now, in a different movie, I would have said that was over the top. Like something like, there was a similar scene with in Thanksgiving. And if I said that it didn't work for me. Someone going that far, it's just for simpler as revenge. And the killer in Thanksgiving they were in a position of power or authority uh, and I just didn't I just don't consider that someone to set someone who had lots of issues doing what the killer that in that movie did lots of deep issues but it makes sense for somebody like Hannibal Lecter to do what he does in this movie. Still a crazy scene though. But it makes sense for Hannibal Lecter. So, I like this movie. Is it a once a year? It could be. Uh, the Hannibal Lecter movies in general like one time a year? I don't know. But specifically this one. I actually like this movie quite a bit. Uh, I don't know. So, uh, so what I'm saying is I like the movie. I think it fits. I just whole, like the whole I, the story of him being on the run and then interacting with Clarice Starling again. And I think I like how it's mo the most consistently about Hannibal of all the movies. It's based off the book Hannibal. So it was all about Hannibal. And Clarice Starling, of course, also. The, the title of the movie is Hannibal. So you know you're going to have more of Hannibal in it than the other ones. So, yeah. That's where I'm going to leave this 
review. I think the next is going to be Red Dragon. The last time Anthony Hopkins played Hannibal Lecter in Red Dragon. The next, that's what the next review is going to be. And I'm going to leave this one right here. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Luke's Daily Movie Reviews, and I will see you next time.